Okay, YouTubers, uh, D Vizzle here. Um, this will be my review of Batman Pride of the Demon. And for the old school comic book fans, if you're wondering why I'm reading Bride of the Demon, like, not reading, I'm reviewing Bride of the Demon before I'm reviewing Son of the Demon, is because I read Bride of the Demon first before I looked up on Google, handy dandy Google, um, that Son of the Demon comes first. Yeah, that happened. But anyway, Bride of the Demon by Mike W. Bar 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 and Tom Grindberg with Ava Grindberg, I guess, their husband and wife. That's cool. Um, I love this cover. This cover is absolutely fantastic. Why can't DC do like more covers like this? Um, but anyway, as you have guessed. This is about Talia, and Raw Oz is in it. And yes, I say Raw Oz instead of Raish. If you want to know why, check out Races of Comic Book Characters. It's a video on my channel. And you'll find out why. Um, so anyway, let's see. Now, I don't want to show too much. So I will try to cut down or show you this beginning part. There we go. Okay, we were, we were introduced to some pilots. Which, they seem nice. Oh well, they're dead. <laughs> well, they were a nice introduction. And then they died. And yeah, that happened. And then we see Roz in his natural habitat trying to build a Lazarus pit. Not for himself, though. And then we are introduced to Dr. I always am terrible with pronunciation. I think it's Card Cardamon. Um, if you know. Let me know in the comments, please. Oh, my pronunciation is not good. Um, and then we're introduced to Brant. Uh, Brant Jr., because this is Brant Cardamon. Dr. Brant Cardamon. Um, then we're introduced to Brant. Um, his, like, introduction is important for what happens later in the story. Um, and then we... Over, we see more Roz and Talia. Look at Talia. Now that is like beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like she is curvy and sexy. That's how you're supposed to draw women. And look at this. <laughs> Roz is fucking like threatening, which I do enjoy. I do enjoy threatening Roz. Okay, and then we have, what was her name, Shiv, 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 it was something, that my pronunciation is terrible, at. even, even though this is basically in English, it's still bad, okay, but anyway, skipping a lot because of copyright, uh, we see Tim, look at Tim, oh. If you couldn't tell, I love Tim Drake. Okay, and then we have Bruce meeting Dr. Cardman, Cardamon. Uh, and then Tim meeting Bran. And they're like becoming fast friends. And we have Talia. Look at Talia. Um, yeah, and they even made her. They gave her some tone, but for the most part, she looks white, which I'm not going to get on it to her in this video, but check out my, again, races of comic book characters if you want to know my whole opinion on that. Uh, and then we see Tim. Look at Tim. Look at him. He looks so happy. Well, not happy. He was a word 
your shit. But we'll see more Natalia. She looks gorgeous. And then let's see I I miss the blue uniform. I know they brought it. I know they tried to bring it back in some instances, but they mostly go with the black. I miss like the blue and gray with like the yellow insignia. Like this this is just classic looking back. And I love that. Okay, and more tin, more Batman. Okay, and so basically in the beginning, uh Ra's head sent Grid Grime, that was this one dude like his manservant. He sent him to get find this dude, that's why we saw like the boxing match and he killed the dude. I probably should explain that. My bad. Um, so anyway, he is trying to kill Batman. But as you know, it's, it's Batman. And like he gets just one ups him. I love this. Because he, he just looks angry. I think it's, I think it's just a smile. Yeah, he, it just looks fine to me. Um, and then we're introduced to this lady, Evelyn. She's an actress. Like, she's getting older. And like, she doesn't seem very stuck up, like she's very humble, which I miss like female characters being like humble and like sweet. Nowadays they're just really stuck up, especially in modern comics today with, with the writing and everything that's going on in the world, but um, yeah, so then we see Dr. Cartman and a reporter. Okay, and then we. Oh, there's something. Did I skip it? Okay, I gotta go. I know I'm not going back. My I just forgot because this one, this, this, this. Okay, Batman has this spray in his utility belt that he uses to, it's like a latex, like a foaming type thing that he put over shiv, shave dude's face. And uh, he basically like copied and made a mask out of his face so he could disguise himself as a dude, which is fantastic and I want to see like this used again in modern comics if they have it um because you know they take like certain things out depending on like who's writing which bums me like I mean you should honestly keep all his gadgets the same like he should have a shit ton of gadgets like all of them even get the shark repellent like, keep the shark repelling. You never know when he has to face King Shark. Um, okay, like, where we were right here. Okay, so Bruce, or Batman, is sneaking on to the plane to figure out like, who... Well, not figure out. He basically knows at this point. Okay. Um, we're, we're, we're scatterbrained right now. Oh, um, we are at the point where Ross is meeting the uh, old actress, and she basically wants to be young again. Like, I mean, most women, I believe, would want to be young again, like, recapture their youth and whatnot. So he takes her. 
and he dips it in the pit. And I love this because it's like simple. They got dipped in the pit. They came back to life. It's like no soul like mamma jamma where it's like, oh no, we have to like go and get some magic person to bring back our soul. And I don't know, like, I don't want to say that it's just the wrong era because they did it. Like, when Jason got dipped in the pit, he, his whole, like, being was shattered and he was, like, a little monstrous. So he had to, like, re-engain his community. This, this book's like, uh, nope, get dipped in the pit, come back, you're fine. <laughs> so... That's fun, and I do like that. Like, um, anyway, so Roz finds out that it's the detective. Love that he says detective like that, and then fake skin. Uh, Did I say this art is gorgeous? This art is gorgeous. Like, it's gorgeous for, like, an old school. Uh, and then Roz and takes Evelyn as his new wife. And they do the thing. Which, that's adorable. Roz needs to be happy. Even though he is a terrorist on many levels. Um, and then that fighting, I love, like, you really get to see him kick ass, like, use his muscles, because he's not only, like, really smart, he's, like, really athletic, and he's a good, like, hand-to-hand -hand combatant, which I absolutely love, being someone who did martial arts for six years. Mm-hmm. What is... Oh, okay. So, this is where... Oh, did I skip a page? Oh, spoilers. But most people read this book. Okay, so Talia is going to recruit Dr. Grant and his son, Grant Jr. Let's just call him BJ. <laughs> um... So, with Dr. Brand and BJ, um, were with Talia, and they got caught in, like, Ross's whole scheme with the military and shit. So, anyway, BJ gets shot and dies, sadly. And so, then Batman faces off Talia, and you can see... That, like, he has no problem in knocking women out. <laughs> Which, oh, this artwork is just phenomenal. Have I praised it, like, enough? Just, just wait till I get to Seven Watchmen. Mm. The art is gorgeous. There's one scene in particular in Son of Batman that I want to talk about. If my voice sounds slow, I apologize. It's the audio. Yeah, and then Roz is trying to bargain with Dr. Brand uh, that he can bring his son back to life with him in obviously the Lazarus pit. So, like, he's trying to manipulate him and, like, coax him into, like, releasing Batman's defenses. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> if you know Batman, Batman doesn't like it. So. He knocks him out. And gets off 
offer to take care of you like his unconscious body. And then you see this, this is a really cool shot. You see Tim like rolling on the penny. And this is before he became Robin. He's just the ward now. And you see more cool fight scenes. stabbed and then he like he's going to find BJ and he's digging in his hole and he falls in uh, and we well we think that he's coming out but no it turns out it's BJ BJ came out and he's alive he goes to call his dad, but his dad is gone. So that happens, and just just look at the physique, like the muscles. It's I this this art is just phenomenal, and I do like I do really like like the old school artwork of this book. This video is way longer than it should be, but I cannot stop gushing about. How gorgeous this art is. Um, mm -hmm. So that man fights Oz. And he's done. And then he talks to Grant about his father. And Grant says his father's gone. And then he gets on the plane. Uh, they all get on the plane. Uh, and Talia holds... Evelyn back because she wants to go and survey Roz and Roz tells her to go and live and then the island blows up and then we have like Bernie trying to go back into the world which that's fantastic he comes, that man comes home, talks to Tim, Alfred, and we find out that Evelyn is pregnant with Rava's kid, which was awesome, I wonder how that's all going to go, but, general thoughts on this book, it was absolutely fantastic. I had such a good time reading it, and this honestly is what comics should be. Like, they should be fun and engaging. Like, I mean, you can even have, like, your diversity, like, characters, but at least make them, like, entertaining. This book was absolutely phenomenal. If you haven't read it, I definitely recommend you pick it up. Um, so that's a review. If you like this video, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. I definitely will be making the Son of the Demon video. Even though I mean I, I technically have to since I did the second one and not the first one. So, yeah. Okay, bye!